we just entered, you know, official, so to speak, bear market territory with the 20% decline from peak to, to uh, last week's levels. And believe it or not, that's already over the last 30 years ranks as the third longest bear market for emerging markets at the MSCI Emerging Market Index going back to 1988. It's also the longest period in the history of the index where it's gone without a 10% rally. So, you know, the daredevil out there may say, hey, this is a great time to uh, go in and say, try and catch the falling knife and get there for the turnaround. Uh, but, you know, I, I, we're still of the view that it may be a little bit too early to get in there. Uh, for one, you have the FOMC, which uh, we think is, a, you know, a two-thirds chance that we're going to see two hikes, two more hikes this year. And with the strong data that we saw last week in the U.S., it only makes the case for a second hike more likely, and that's going to lead to more pain for emerging markets, uh, I think, as we see the tighter monetary conditions. And valuations have certainly come in for emerging markets, but uh, they're not at levels that we've tended to see real big uh, inflows of capital and rallies in the sector. So that's two things. And then the third thing you want people are looking at is, hey, they've underperformed so much at this point in the year, maybe we'll see a reversion to the mean. But there's been about five other years where we've seen um, an underperformance of emerging markets as wide as, as it is now. They're underperforming the S&P 500 by uh, about 20 percentage points year to date. Um, anytime it's been more than 15 percentage points uh, going back over the last 30 years, the S&P has actually outperformed for the remainder of the year going forward uh, by an average of 11 percentage points. So um, the, if you're looking for that reversion to the mean, uh, it, it tends to take a little, little bit longer than uh, most people would hope to, for it to come. It is very interesting historical context, but then you also have to look at what's happening here in the U.S. We have this very long bull market run. So you had this long bear market run in emerging markets and now this long bull market here in the U.S. I mean, is the U.S. about to crack and turn down? Is the U.S. really a, a safer bet? Uh, so, for instance, the economic backdrop is, is certainly better. Um, you make a good point that we're long in the tooth on a bull market. But, you know, we always defer to the internals and what the market's telling us. And, uh, you know, for all the, the, the headlines we read this, this weekend that it was a brutal sell-off last week, we're in the month of September, which is the weakest month of the year for equities, and we're down 1.5% from the high. Uh, breadth levels have held up, you know, surprisingly well last week. We're basically about one good day in the S&P 500 from hitting a new high in the cumulative AD line. And even high yield credit spreads actually tightened slightly last week. So uh, we're not seeing these internal indicators suggesting that uh, things are about to get a whole lot worse. Uh, okay. The FANG stocks haven't done very well, but um, underneath the surface of the market, we've seen pretty strong uh, performance by other sectors picking up the slack.